Hey up everyone, and today we're going to do my version of the pom-pom chrysanthemum. We start by taking the thinnest piece of felt and we're going to put a line of glue along the bottom edge there and fold over so that the two edges meet. On the other three pieces we're going to put a line of glue across the top edge and then we're going to fold over leaving a quarter of an inch at the bottom. You'll see why we do that later. And there we have four pieces of felt ready for some fringing. We're going to snip along the folded side of the felt, taking care not to go past the glue line. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you find that you've got a thicker piece of snipping going on, then just go back and snip it again. Nature isn't perfect and I'm certainly not. All four pieces are done and now we're ready to do some construction. On my piece of wire when I'm doing a centre like this I always put a loop on the end so that that gives a, the bigger surface area for the centre to stick to. I don't want that stem falling out once the construction is done and the flowers in a bouquet. So just put a dab of glue on the edge there, place the stem in place and hold the felt for a few seconds so the glue can take hold. Then I'm going to do a line of glue down that long edge there and I'm going to wind that piece of felt around the stem taking care to get that bottom edge straight. There's the centre. This little bit here I always snip off the bottom end just to make the, the centre a little bit smoother so that my petals sit nicely. And now for these three pieces we're going to do some sewing. I'm using embroidery thread here, pink embroidery thread, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. You can use any thread, it doesn't matter, nobody's going to see it, nobody's going to know that it's there. I've knotted the thread, then done some back stitching, and now I'm going to do a running stitch all the way down this, lap, this felt below the line of the glue. Again, the stitching doesn't need to be perfect, nobody's going to see it, nobody's going to know that it's there. And on this final stitch, we're going to go down and into that very first stitch that I did. When I pull the thread tight, this is going to take that strip into a circle shape and just add a little bit of glue there just to hold the circle in, in its place. Now we're going to pull the thread nice and tight to form that circle nicely. Then on the back of the circle, we're going to do some back stitches just to keep everything in place. Those loopy things sometimes get tied up in your thread. Just be careful that you get those out of there before you finish off all your back stitching. We're going to snip that off, and then now we're going to place that onto the centre of the flower. Doesn't matter which way up you put this onto the stem. Just slide it onto the stem. Put some glue on the base of the centre. And put that first layer in position, holding it in place for a few seconds for the glue to set. And then we're going to glue around the edge of the centre and pull the, the petals up so that they caress the centre a little bit better. Do it in stages because the glue does tend to set up quite fast. And don't be scared to, to squeeze your flower. Felt flowers are pretty hard and they aren't fragile like paper flowers. You can handle them quite roughly. That's the first layer done. We're going to repeat the process for the other two layers. Exactly the same method, running stitch and pull it into a circle shape. I do this version of the pom-pom chrysanthemum because the original that everybody seems to do involves the long fringe and I always ended up in a mess doing that. I came up with using this small shorter fringes and it seems to work better for me. Let me know what you guys think. And like I say, nobody's going to see this thread. Nobody's going to know that it's there. Only you and me.
and that's one pretty chrysanthemum. Now we're going to do the bottom of the chrysanthemum. We need a bit more body down there, so I'm using a dull needle to poke a hole through some scraps of felt, just small pieces of felt lying around. And I'm going to thread those onto the bottom of the stem just to give a bit more body down there. I usually do about five or six pieces, that's usually enough. So now we've got a bit more body down there. We're going to place the sepal in place, poke a hole through the middle, slide it onto the stem, that's how it's going to sit. Put a bit, bit of glue down there just to hold those pieces of felt in place. Don't use too much glue, we don't want it seeping through the sepal. That's difficult to say. And now we're going to glue these little leaves of the sepal in place so that it covers up all the stitching and all the folding that's gone on down there so that nobody sees what's going on inside the flower, they just see a pretty chrysanthemum. And there we have it, one flower. Now we can add a, add a leaf to the flower. I don't always add leaves to my flowers because if I'm doing a bouquet, I usually add the leaves separately. I'm just using wax florist tape to attach the leaf to the stem of the flower. And there we have it, one pretty chrysanthemum. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like so that you get notifications about future videos. You can follow us on business page on Instagram and Facebook. And I also have a group page called The Do A Little Club where you guys can post any projects that you do, get support and inspiration. And you'll find us on Facebook and the link is below. I'll speak to you later.